Good evening and welcome to Outdoors with Dr. Ash. So today is the first episode of Outdoors with Dr. Ash, so cheers to that. And I'm going to kind of introduce what the channel is going to be about and go on a nice little hike. So the channel is going to be about anything you can do outdoors. Right now we are on a hike. Uh, my apologies for the camera movement, that is my dog and co-host Helios Solaris Titanus, the Sun Titan for short. Um, he is chewing grass right now, so he's enjoying himself. Basically, this channel is going to be about anything you can do outdoors. So there will be episodes on hiking, there will be episodes that I look into what gear um, I use, how it's good, how I like it, how it compares to other gear. There will be episodes where I explore how you can make the best out of wilderness camping, the best out of backpacking, the best out of car camping, which is what most people consider camping, the best out of glamping, which is what my parents consider camping. So there's everything you can do outdoors with, with nature, and then there are other things you can do outdoors like gardening, yard work, and cars. So I also love to work on cars, so every once in a while I'll have some cars that are worked on outdoors. Not in a garage, because I don't have one. So technically it fits. Um, but today, and most of what I do, since uh, every, almost everything I do for fun is outdoors, uh, today Helios and I will be going on a hike. So Helios, come here. Come here. Good boy. Yeah. Okay, so he apparently does no. He does not want to say hi to the cameras today. We'll catch him another day. He says he wants to go on a hike. So I hope that you tune in more. Uh, and hopefully my camera skills get better because this is kind of like the Blair Witch Project right now. Helios. Um, we are right now on a little hiking trail in New Jersey, just outside of Chimney Rock Road. It's a beautiful little hiking trail that allows you to hike in serenity, yet you're still relatively close to everything. So I don't know if you guys heard the car that just passed by, but there's a road right up there. And if you look up at that horizon, there's a park just over that hill. So this is about a 20 minute drive from the University of uh, Rutgers. Uh, so it's great for anyone who's on campus there, anyone who works there, to come here and get a nice hike in before dark. Uh, that being said, if you are going to hike close to dark, you should always have a headlamp with you. And there was just a sign when I pulled into the parking lot saying that uh, coyotes were spotted in this area. So you want to definitely make sure if you have smaller dogs, um, or even if you have one dog, they're pack animals, so... You want to keep an eye on your pets. You want to keep an eye on yourself because uh, when I was raised in Southern Arizona, we found out coyotes are pretty nasty creatures. So always be aware anywhere you hike, make sure that you look at all of the posted signs. I've hiked this area a lot. That's the first time I've seen the coyote watch. So there's something there. Um, also make sure that when you go on hikes, and I'll show you this because Helios was walking into the water. Um, and I'm going to follow him in because there is a broken frisbee. This hike is also a, um, not ultimate frisbee, that's the tackle. Um, it's also a frisbee course. However, if you are going to go on a hike, um, or if you're going to play activities outdoors, please clean up after yourselves. Like, this is my little public service announcement. So I've got some awesome waterproof boots on right now that I've had since... Well, my mom got them for me for... I've got some awesome waterproof boots that my mom got me uh, years ago. Um, so I just jumped right into this little creek, which is normally not here. Helios, come on, this way. This way. Um, and grabbed this broken fishy because really, you don't want to leave trash and plastic. Any hiker knows. Any hiker knows that the snow chase left behind. Any Girl Scout knows you want to leave a place better than you found it. And anybody like me who does their work in sustainable and green energy knows that you really don't want to leave the trash around. Like, it's an issue. 
So please, if, if you're hiking or if you want to go one day and take a trash bag with you and a little stick, do, do a little like volunteer stuff where you pick up trash on a trail. So even something like that can be helpful. Uh, with that, I am going to let you go so you don't get too motion sickness and go on my hike. So I hope you enjoyed the first installment of Outdoors with Dr. Ash. And have a great day. Bye-bye.